1399 and 97 are related to each other. And both of these bills are recommendations from the HERC, the Health Insurance Reform Commission. They both have to do with the essential health benefits benchmark plan. And uh, is there a, an amendment to 13 a substitute on 99? Yeah. I need a copy of it, too. I'll second the motion. Mr. Chairman, the substitute's been moved and seconded. So basically what both of these bills have to do with is the essential health benefit plan that we provide under the state health care exchange. And over the last couple years, we have mandated a couple new benefits um, that have not been in, that are not included in the current essential benefit plan. And in order for us to adopt the new essential health benefit plan, there's a whole bunch of hoops we have to jump through to make the federal government happy. Um, the SCC Bureau of Insurance has started the process of jumping through those hoops by hiring an actuary and, and um, sort of teeing it up for us. But one of the things we have to do is adopt Senate Bill 1399 to um, create the legal requirement that the essential health benefit plan has, has the two new benefits in the plan. And so that we can promulgate a new essential health benefit as of 2025. I think I'm stating this right. Um, the chairman of the HERC is nodding his head. So that's what the first bill does. The second bill creates a whole new process for future modifying the essential health benefit plan in the future. But that's when this one does. So this one sort of validates where we are right now and sort of sets up the state, the SCC, to promulgate a new essential health benefit plan consistent with the laws we've already passed in for 2025. That's what it does. And again, as a recommendation of the HERC plan, there's a cognate in the House coming over. All right. All right. You've heard 1399. All right. Is there questions of the patron? If you want to know the two new benefits, I can explain them. Uh, the audience now uh, supported the bill. Will is on Zoom. Would like to speak in support of this bill? Please raise your hand electronically. Can I? Mr. Chairman, Doug Gray, on behalf of the Virginia Association of Health Plans. Um, we support this bill. What this is about is trying to avoid defrayal um, when you add something to the essential health benefit. Defrayal means the federal government has to be paid. Uh, if you add something over and above the essential health benefit. And that's a big deal uh, for any mandate that gets added to the essential health benefit. So these two things have already been done, applied to the large group plan, but have not been applied uh, to individual and small group. They will be now, and you won't have to defray because you made it part of the new essential health benefit. So that's why this process is important, and uh, we support doing this, and we'll, we'll support the next bill too. All right, any other questions of the paper? I would also note it has an emergency clause. It what? It has an emergency clause. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, is there opposition? All right, there's not. All right. <laughs> okay, there's a motion to and a second to report um, uh, as a substitute with the substitute Senate Bill 1399. All those in favor, <clears throat> vote aye. That's 15 no zero. 